I'm here at AIM uh, 3D booth. Um, this is Verena. Would you like to introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about AIM 3D? Mm -hmm. Yes, so I'm Verena Witt. I'm uh, from the company AIM 3D. We've been doing palette printing ever since 2018 when we founded us and we have high competence in palette extrusion with an open material system. So we're working metal, ceramics as well as uh, polymers and high performance polymers. Um, so recently we formed a collaboration with Polymaker introducing the polycore materials uh, to your machines. Can you tell us a little bit about how your customers can benefit from that? So Polycore is known for like producing a very 3D printing friendly material. So we bring um, the injection molding feedstock in pallet form, but with the enhancement of making it possible to 3D print them very well. So we know exactly how to use uh, the process parameters in order to create very feasible parts. For example, this in pallet geometry, which is printed with ASA from uh, Polymaker. And this is a typical geometry that we would get from our customers and be able to 3D print them in a very good quality. Mm. So another thing which I think is quite interesting about uh, AIM3D is um, the combination of both pellets and filament, which I think is quite unique to your system. Um, can you explain a little bit uh, why, that, uh, why you chose to, to, to use this dual system? So we want to make sure that it's very customizable to our customers and we have a modular system where we can do both pellet printing as well as filament printing and this makes it possible to create parts that are um, printed like this. So we're doing like a dual process, which is called also the voxel process. We're doing a volume structure with one material and then filling with another material to increase, for example, the strength of the part and reduce printing time. And this is what we're showing on this machine and uh, wanting to display at the form next this year. So on this part we have the, so the green part is printed in, um, in, in filament and then the clear part is the Polymaker uh, or the Polycore PTG 1000. Um, but what's interesting for me is that the, the quality from the pellets and the quality from the filaments is actually the same. So normally when we think of pellets we think big layers and uh, lower resolution and less details but uh, your system seems to manage them uh, perfectly together. Yeah, so this is what we've been doing since seven years ago. We have a high competence in developing like, parts that have the same quality in pallet printing as well as filament printing. And this is what we wanted to visualize here as well. So our surface finish or like layer height, we can reach a good quality as with a pallet printer as well as a filament printer. And with a pallet printer, we can also introduce like more heat into the part because we have a high amount of uh, liquid polymer, which then also increases the strength of the finished part. That's really interesting. So right, right now it looks like it's like injecting. So it's extruding in, on the Z. Yeah. Access, so yeah. this is a process that we call voxel fill. With this, we are filling volume chambers within the part in order to increase the strength and get an interlocking effect. This way, we won't have just uh, Z layers and the part won't delaminate as easily, which makes um, the apply or like application of 3D printed parts from all printer more feasible in different or wider applications. This is also shown with the uh, Polymaker PTG here. So we combine both easy to print materials like Polymaker's materials with a new printing process that we're showing. Yeah, I think that's a really, really smart way uh, because the, the Z direction is always the weakest point of a 3D print. So having these, this combination of extrusion techniques is really smart. Yeah. And the, do you have the data on the, the strength? Yeah, we're showing it like on the TV screen on the other side. Okay. So we get like 80 to 100% of uh, Z strength as well wow. with this process. Is that and, compared to XY? Uh, yeah. Okay. And also like um, when we compare like just 3D or like uh, XY strength of the this technology or like this printing process, this that, we get like 89%, 98, 98% of the strength. Mm. 
but this is like still like a small gap to injection molding parts just yeah. because we have tiny pores yeah. but in general we get like nearly isotropic parts with this process which is pretty cool and we're doing it with like the PTG pure and then with fiber reinforced materials which show, show the same effect we I've done like uh, microscopy mm. uh, parts where you can see that the fibers are actually distributed in that ah, so direction. The fibers are aligned. The fibers also are aligned. In that, yeah. Yes. That's really cool. Which is part of the reason why it uh, reduces the anisotropy in like fiber reinforced parts even more as in pure materials. Mm. This is what we want to research on more. Very cool. Yeah. Right. Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah. Thank you.